call the meeting to uh, order of uh, the meeting of the select board on Wednesday, July the 27th, 2022. Um, the select board's meeting at the uh, steel room and um, uh, we need to approve the tonight's agenda. Uh, any changes or amendments to tonight's agenda? I'll move to approve the agenda. Okay. Did you have a... I was just going to say, I wanted to edit the um, minutes, and I think technically we need to take them off consent then. Okay. So, uh, not to be annoying. Sorry to be right. really annoying, but can we just put... We'll just change, uh, approve the minutes of the July 18th meeting right after public? With no consent agenda. Okay. Okay. I think that's a friendly um, amendment. Uh, if so, we have a motion. Do we have a second to the uh, motion? Sure. We have a motion and a second. All any, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The agenda is passed. Uh, consent agenda items, uh, the minutes of the July uh, meeting. Uh, Good, uh, point of order? Yes. Uh, we just moved to not have a consent agenda. Oh, okay. Okay. Just because I want to have it. Yes. So we'll pass through the consent agenda. Uh, it's now the time if any of the public needs to make a brief statement. If anyone needs to make a comment, now is the time to do so. There being none, uh, we'll move on to the select board items. Uh, someone want to make a motion to uh, go in? We're going to be first discussing the Anderson appeal of the Grayson subdivision. Uh, Excuse me, could we address the minutes uh, that uh, Alyssa wanted? Right. Okay. So I, um, you okay. um, so I make a motion to approve the minutes of the July 18th me meeting as presented with the addition of one sentence before mm -hmm. the housing item, just clarifying that it was um, in the 2018 plan. It was just a clarification okay. before we approve them. Um, Thank you, Alyssa. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. So, question? Mm -hmm. yep. Without a lawyer, does it make sense to move He's forward? Here, yeah. Oh, okay. We'll go there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. I didn't know it made sense to take care of the other We'll wait just a couple of seconds until uh, Bill returns. Well, we can make the We can make them. Okay. Do you want to? I'll do it. Um, so I move to find that general public knowledge of the details of pending litigation involving the town of Waterbury would clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage. Oh, he's there. Okay. <laughs> so are you moving? Okay. Yes. Exactly Move. No, no, I'm just, just moving that? to find that general public knowledge of the details of pending okay. litigation okay. involving the town of Waterbury would clearly place the town at a substantial disadvantage. Okay. Uh, I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Okay. So then I move to enter into executive session to consider pending litigation involving Grayson subdivision and related confidential attorney-client communications made for the purpose of providing legal advice to the town. Okay. There's a motion. To I'll second that one as well. Session. There's a second now by Roger. Uh, any further discussions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Moving out of executive session. Also move. Second. Yeah. 
Uh, motion is second. Any further discussion? To be clear, the motion is just stating that we're coming out of executive you're session. Just, with and, no action taken. I don't yeah, think. You're just with no action yeah, taken. Right. At 8:04 p.m. Everyone's clear. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Okay. Next item on the agenda is a public health complaint at 3 Bachelor Street. Bill. So just to uh, report to the board, uh, in my capacity as the deputy health officer, I received a phone call last week from uh, a gentleman who delivers Meals on Wheels and he told me that there was a tenant at 3 Batchelder Street that had been living without water in her apartment since July 6th. Uh, this was late in the day on Thursday. I made arrangements to meet him at the location on Friday morning at 1030, and um, he introduced me to the tenant who lived there, and uh, I spoke with her and then uh, looked went in the apartment, looked around, and found that there was indeed no water. Um, the property has changed hands. I have varying um, um, statements. One statement said, and I didn't look, I, I, I haven't looked in the land records, but one of them told me that it changed hands in December of 2020, and the other one told me changed hands in uh, December of 2021. Um, the new landlord, whenever they purchased it, uh, recently has decided to um, renovate the building and evidently uh, the first step taken was to tell the tenants there that the rent was going to double. Um, and three of the four tenants left the building because they couldn't afford uh, a doubled rent at that location. Uh, the, the tenant in question in Unit 3 um, hasn't been able to find a place to go, so she has not vacated the property. Um, it appears the landlord, uh, although there's a dispute about rent being paid or not paid, uh, certainly the, the higher rent hasn't been paid. Um, the, the tenant is still there. So anyway, I, I called the landlord and talked with her, and uh, she indicated that she had asked the tenants to move out because she was wanting to renovate the property and that this particular tenant wouldn't move and um, that she hadn't paid rent. And I said, well, she's still here. Um, and she's in your building, and whether we like it or not, you can't have somebody living in your building with, with no water. Um, and then she proceeded to tell me that, um, I, and I asked her, I said, have you taken legal steps to evict the, the tenant? And her statement to me was, well, if I followed the rules, it takes six to nine months, so uh, I didn't do that. I said, well, I understand that the laws may be, in your opinion, tilted toward the tenant, but the law is the law. You can't just shut the water off. And she said, well, it, I didn't shut the water off to move her out. There's a leak in, the other, in, in one of the other apartments behind the wall, and I had been in another apartment and saw a wall that had been partially uh, taken down, and there was clear evidence that there's a leak there. And uh, I talked to Bill Woodruff, and, who used to be the water uh, superintendent, who's been in that building to read meters on many occasions. And he said, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no plumbing in the building to isolate any of the apartments. There's just one shutoff. Mm -hmm. So the water is either on or off. And I told the woman, I said, I can turn the water on right now so she has water. And she said, well, don't do that, because it will flood the building. So anyway. Um, gone back and forth with her, told her that I was going to have to take this action. And um, I did talk to an attorney uh, to help me uh, with this. Uh, health orders are 
a laborious process. <clears throat> uh, you have to start with a notice of intent to issue a health order, and the draft health order has to be part of that notice. So I started that process. Uh, when I talked to the lawyer, he said, you really need to go back to the building and do a full inspection uh, using the rental housing code. I did that. And uh, in addition to no running water and no hot water, uh, there are other issues. Uh, there's no working smoke alarm or carbon dioxide um, detector. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher that looks like it's charged and ready to go, except there's a tag 2003 on it, so it's pretty old. Um, and uh, uh, there's a couple of other minor issues. Um, the health manual um, requires the health officer to report to the Department of Public Safety any life safety issues where violations are found. So the CO2 and the smoke detector and the fire extinguisher, uh, those are all um, life safety issues. So I did call the Department of Public Safety yesterday, told them what I found, uh, and, and I imagine they will investigate. So um, uh, what will likely happen is a uh, health order, a notice of intent to issue a health order will be issued likely early next week. And in conversation with the attorney, um, obviously the hope is that once the notice of intent to issue an order is issued, or perhaps even based on the phone call that I had with the, with the landlord on Friday, that they'll get this taken care of. But I think the notice of intent to issue a health order will indicate that on August 15th, the select board will meet as uh, the Board of Health for the town of Waterbury and um, take up this issue and decide whether or not to issue a health order. Obviously, the landlord can be present. And if the select board, in their capacity as the Board of Health, issues a health order, it's appealable. Uh, to the State Board of Health and potentially the courts. But that's the process. So um, I just want you to be aware that there's a potential on the 15th of August that you'll have to meet as the Board of Health. It's, it's nothing special. You just, on your select board warning, that's the, that will be a regular select board meeting on that agenda. If it's necessary, it will indicate the select board will meet as the Board of Health to take up this issue. Um, when I talked to the landlord on Friday, she told me that the early she could have a plumber there was on Monday. I went back to the unit on Monday. There was nobody there. On Tuesday, there was nobody there. I didn't go there today. Um, but I haven't heard from the tenant that anybody has showed up. There is a dumpster uh, parked in front of this building on uh, Batchelder Street, Bill Woodruff, the public works director, gave the landlord weeks ago permission to put the dumpster there. It's pretty hard to get the dumpster. There's a narrow driveway with an outdoor um, fuel oil tank in the driveway. So if you drive a, a big giant dumpster past it, you might have an oil spill. So Bill said, yeah, you can park it in the street. And gave them, a, I, he told me how long it gave them to uh, allow it to be there, but I don't remember what the date was. Nothing has changed in the dumpster in the couple days that I've looked at it. So anyway, that's it's just the update. Um, so if you have questions, I'll try to answer them. Otherwise, uh, I'll keep you posted. And I'm hoping that this issue will resolve itself before we have to have a hearing as the Board of Health. But if not, uh, you'll have a new experience on August 15th. Sounds good. Any further questions for Bill? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Uh, are there any further legal businesses that will come before, can come before us? I was just wondering if we're going to meet uh, at our regu regularly scheduled time next week or if we're going to 
pass on that and meet on the 15th? Yeah, my recommendation is given that we've met tonight, um, I checked with Carla this afternoon. There's nothing really percolating that needs to be done on the 1st. I mean, there's obviously parking lot issues, but uh, my recommendation, unless you really want to meet, is um, you know, cancel Monday's meeting and just meet on the 15th. My only question is if the board received that email from MK regarding the um, painting and the electrical boxes, and I think that is time sensitive, so I don't know, um, because they want to get, it was like before school started, they wanted to have the approval and get going. Um, well, school doesn't start before the 15th, I don't think. No. Since the last week of August. We love to get this one painted before school starts. So that would be. Okay. Well, I don't know how long it takes them, but. Um, I'll let that in. No, that request aside, I'll be the one who says I don't want to be the one advocating for more night meetings. Yeah. But I also think we talked about scheduling a ske special meeting for ARPA. So I guess. At least personally, I put the, the meetings as a recurring event on my calendar, so I'm not advocating for it. But I guess if our alternative is to schedule a special meeting, I would argue maybe we have no. I'm again, I will go with the consensus of the board. So if folks want a night off, I will not be the lone one to have it. I just before scheduling this, I would be hesitant to cancel a regular meeting only to need to schedule yet another special meeting. Maybe we could have an abbreviated meeting for an hour for the things we'd never have time for. Again, if, if no one wants to do it, I don't, but. I was going to send an email about an ARPA meeting, and I was curious, timing wise, if it made more sense to wait till September or October, but I don't know if that's. Well, I, I mean, it's already Wednesday. I don't think noticing a meeting for Monday to deal with ARPA is. That's, that's not very to, timely. I just so. meant to have a preliminary conversation. I thought our conversation was the board wanted to have a conversation about strategy no. uh, and the like. Uh, I think I if we're going to have we it. We normally send our agenda for the Monday meeting on Thursday or Friday is when I see it posted and when I receive it as a board member. So it has been our standard practice. Yeah, we, we have to post the agenda at least 48 hours before the meeting. So Friday is when agendas go out. So if you're going to meet Monday, tell us what you want on the agenda and we'll be here. I think we're going to have the ARPA meeting, in my opinion, it should be like the, a big, the big full conversation at least. That should be a good portion of a whole meeting. Or a, well, a whole, well, an entire, like right. a, a special meeting, a full meeting. Um, uh, so I don't know, but. I just don't want to get ourselves in the position where we're making hasty decisions just because of the time shortage, you know, so I don't care either way. If we have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, whatever, I, I've heard some mixed opinions. Uh, do we want to vote if we should have a meeting, or um, or is there some? Can we have some sort of consensus of what we should do for Monday's meeting? Right, Roger. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Personally, uh, I'd rather uh, take next Monday off uh, and uh, meet on the 15th, and then find another time to have a meeting about ARPA funding uh, and perhaps give ourselves a little bit more time to, to be, to prepare for that meeting uh, and understanding what some of the options are. Right. I'm hearing kind of a consensus that we probably need a little more time to do an ARPA meeting. Uh, there's, from what I'm hearing from the consensus is that Maybe Monday would be a good day to take off. Sure. If, if that's if no one's no one has a problem with that. I'm good. At I will just say prior to the fifteenth, I did meet with Steve about the housing task force, planning to ask to have that on the agenda for the first. But that can be back to the fifteenth. Right. Yeah, and then we just want to be mindful of that fifteenth agenda also. Yeah. So it's right. But just, yeah. <laughs> the one who's got on the record, so we have a packed agenda. That yes. may, the 15th could then be, oh, might be a long meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to try to avoid that. Right. right? We don't want any more three hour meetings. Right. Mm -hmm. We can help it. So. And maybe on the 15th, we can set the time for the ARPA meeting right. as well. Right. Set, 
set a period of time that we might want to speak about those. Um, do we anticipate needing to start on the 15th if we are being the board of health, or do you think that could just be a standard? That's a good well, we, we can, as we get closer, we can see how much other stuff we have. So yeah. you've got the housing task force that you're going to want to come on the 15th. So is that a half an hour discussion? Is it 15 yeah, minutes? Is it an hour? Minutes. Yeah, probably 15 minutes. Okay. So okay. I think we can decide then, um, you know, do we need to start earlier than 7? Um, earlier than 7 is tougher for some, you know, Chris works and, uh, and, and, and it's hard for me to sometimes uh, an earlier meeting than seven is a challenge sometimes. But if the agenda is too long, then we can start at six. And, and if we did, what I would do is, uh, if we have to have that health board meeting, that should be the first item on the agenda because you never know how long that's gonna take, so. Okay, okay so it sounds like we're gonna Punt on Monday's meeting. Okay. Anything else that we have to discuss? Okay, it sounds like. No, it's, it's for after. Sorry. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all. Motion carries.